Coming up next, it's a UFC women's flyweight division matchup. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker, so try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes for her here tonight. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC flyweight division. It's easy to coach. Fighting out of the blue corner! This woman is a kickboxer, holding professional record on. Ten wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Manon, the beast, beyond! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. as we go in the world. Few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever. UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in Fight. history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon and try to make your mark on the sport. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, big kick four there. Oh! Ooh, what a punch. 
So the fighters clinch here early, and she has really historically done some of her best work in these type of fighting situations. Yes, yeah, she does a great job of overwhelming you with this clinch position. With all the homework, with all the details, it's hard to keep up. She gives you a test every single day. You don't get a test every week, every right. quarter. You get a test every day whenever you're fighting something. All right, so she lands another leg kick there, and now you're starting to really see visible damage on the other side. I'm not sure how many more of these she can take. She won't take many more. You'll start to see her fall to her back, try to engage in the grapple, because she will not be able to get any weight on her front leg, which will make her stationary and be very much and be in a nice... There you go. There you go. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Go. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Oh, Sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Well, you've got to stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her, though. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for the finish. She's so good at dictating these ground changes. She's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot at the top. Oh, pretty good job there posturing up and landing with the ground and pound. She has been very efficient in this situation tonight. Very efficient and very accurate. Hats off to her. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. leg kick. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Oh, man, that looked like it hurt. Nice kick 
fire there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Flush in a flush knee there, DC, making great use of her size advantage in this one. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Thai clinch forward here. We'll see what she can do with it. Nice kick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch. And of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide you open. You leave every fantastic takedown land. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to what she's going for the arm bar here. Gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh, slams her to the ground, so she appeared to be fending off the armbar, and then she just used her power and exploded her opponent down to the ground. Oh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well committed to the body work, you see the results. Look at the redness on the right side of her body. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here, nice punch. Right the side control, yep. Oh, this is where you don't wanna be though. Standing over her opponent and landing a nice combination of strikes. So staying active enough for the referee and really making these shots count. She's not being overzealous. She's not looking for too much. She's taking her time. Eventually, she hopes that she will find a shot that finishes the fight. Half guard position for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of pick your poison. Yeah, you got to pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you got to be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Oh, Sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. One minute to go. All right, she's got north-south position now on top. Is it just more a dominant ground control type of situation, or are you trying to work for a submission? You can hit the north-south choke which is you start to sag your weight away, drop your shoulder into their throat, and just really cut off the oxygen with, with the choke. It's a very difficult thing to finish, but it will wear on your opponent and can weigh them down and wear them out. Oh, and she gives up her back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. We could get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Yes, she's very dangerous from the top. She's so good at controlling the hips. She's so good at just being aware and taking advantage of any opportunity to finish that now she finds herself taking her back with the chance to try to end this fight. Now trying to trap an arm. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking.
Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go as the next round gets underway, and you can see the visible damage on both sides after all of the effective body work there on the previous round. You can see it. The redness, the, the, the tenderizing of the ribs. Soon, her opponent will start to drop her hands to protect her body, look for her to follow up with something over the top, hoping to end the round. Left hand punches the clinch. Right hand punches the clinch. Switch, he lands to the body. Beautiful punch. Well, she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday the double leg would be there. It was certainly there in that instance. J.A., she said they're not built like her. Right. They can't stand up to the freight train double. And she just got it off. Great job, great technique, great confidence in that position. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big grounding pound. Grounded pound strike there now. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of her fight. Three minutes to go in the round. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So there she is, your winner by submission, and there will be no wiping the smile off her face tonight as she turns in one of the bigger highlights of her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. She is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is. She was going to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the grappling.